going on you guys my name is rage and i am back today with another video guide and playthrough for you all in today's video we are going to walk through the unlocking of nick fury in addition to talking about his overall skills uh t4s in addition last but not least uh really talk about is nick fury overall the leader of the shield team worth an investment in this game in terms of leveling it up and increasing and utilizing our gold as well as our materials on them those are all questions we're looking to answer for you newer players and mid-game players out there. So let's dive right in, you guys. Hitting the events here, you can see that chasing Nick Fury, I was able to re reach the tier four in my previous um, in my previous go ahead. But today is the day that we are going to go ahead and unlock him because I finally was able to get my five Kree minions to level to the level five uh, yellow star for each of them. So uh, this is the you know what? Let's go ahead here. I do have them already kind of pre-slotted here. I want to see if that's the same kind of placement. Uh, reason being is because, uh, you know, we want to protect Reaper in the back there as well as uh, Cyborg to the left just to separate them. We have Oracle and Noble in the middle and the back just to separate with uh, the guard obviously on the right soaking the damage. So that's going to be our placement. Total team power 55k. Let's dive in and see if, if this is whether or not this is enough power to, uh, to unlock this node. Um, good news is that for these legendary unlocks you know we never need to fully unlock and and beat them all with all our guys alive we just need one man standing at least yeah that's weird the game kind of froze for a sec there um all right let's go ahead okay as we can see here yeah we are up against a deadpool here additionally next to two um, mercenary guys here uh, so right from the get-go i would recommend just taunting when you can with our guard there Oh wow, so that Deadpool is actually quite strong. He has 22k health, actually, oh, excuse me, 22k power, but fortunately we do have a 23k Ultimus ourselves here. So we're, we're gonna, you bet we're gonna utilize him as much as we can here. So let's go ahead and use him to kind of deal some damage, take out Deadpool. Um, if we have this 23k Ultimus, I think we might be in good shape just because of the fact that, you know, he's quite formidable. All of our guys average around 10k, but you know, this is, uh, this should be actually not too bad then. And, and as you guys can see there on the bottom left, um, all my Kree characters are around the 10 and 11k mark. I didn't want to invest too much time and money into them in terms of uh, gold investment as well as gear level. Just because, you, have, you, you know, you don't want, you're not going to be utilizing them too much. I'm not sure how how strong I want to build them out either. So that's the reason there. So for for this wave, as, I can, as you guys can see here, we're just going to try to target um, any high DPS targets they got. Unfortunately, if they taunt, we don't have a choice here. But, you know, you see that there is, there is a sniper back there, a couple of mercenary snipers. So we're going to take them down just to take out their damage. Or, excuse me, um, they're soldiers, actually. But either way, they're not tanks. In the, they're not the tanks. So let's go ahead and finish them off and see what, what, comes, uh, what comes in these next few waves. Hopefully not too bad. So far, so good. These guys do seem pretty squishy. So as long as we kind of keep up our, our healing on our team... Should be okay, and we definitely got to utilize our ultimate as much as we can. He does the most damage out of our cluster, so thankfully, uh, thankfully he's a Kree guy, and I didn't, I didn't know that we we're gonna have an, have that advantage of having him. So that's really good. Um, as you can see here, at 12 out of 17 enemies left, that does spawn another Deadpool with the Merc. Um, we're gonna go ahead then and attack Mer um, Deadpool just because he does seem to have more damage than these mercenary guys. Okay, so far so good. So pretty straightforward. At least they're uh, they're they're the same power as us, but we seem to be doing more damage on them. Oh wow! So this looks a little. Uh, uh, so it just spawned four cables that are each 12, 13k. So uh, this is where I'm gonna ignore the Deadpool just because he's only 1200. Let's go ahead and just you know at this point you can probably just auto this, but we're just gonna have to be strategic in terms of focusing all our damage on one target at a time. And hopefully that's gonna bring us uh, bring us to the end of this. Um, and like I said earlier, fortunately we don't need to three star or anything. It's just really unlocking this node, and then we will uh, we'll be okay. So definitely the uh, the cables gotta go, and then we'll we will worry about the Deadpool's next. So um, we really gotta also make sure that we're using Ultimus's attacks, making it count. So let's uh, let's make sure that when he when we use him to attack, he's up for the kill. 
just because he has the highest damage there. I'll see if we can... Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping to finish him off with Reaper. Okay, so that's the last... That's the second last cable. Uh, one more left. We'll take him out, and then we'll take Deadpools, and hopefully no more cables. Oh, wow, I like that. Um, Ultimus' attack does AoE damage as well. Okay. Yeah, I've never I've never had a chance to use Ultimus before, so that's pretty... That's actually pretty cool. I'll uh, finish off Deadpool there. Okay, one more there. And we seem... So far, so good. We, uh... We seem to be doing okay right now. We still have three guys left. Finish them off. Oh, beautiful. Only two left. I, I, I think we got this in the bag, actually. Okay, so that other Deadpool is only 1,200. Let's now focus on this Deadpool. Oh, no, not a challenge whatsoever. So there you guys have it. Uh, this is going to be the unlock for Nick Fury. There we go. I definitely did not think, um, you know, when I was starting this game 10 months ago, I definitely did not think I was getting Nick Fury at this point in um in time and i'll talk about i'll talk a little about that later you guys but let's go ahead let's recruit nick fury now let's go ahead uh, use the 250k beautiful and there you guys have it nick fury in the flesh now that we fully unlocked nick fury you know especially with his uh, sweet setup look at that look at that crispness on his, his coat let's talk about his his uh, skills whether or not uh, what his abilities we should t4 if we were to level him up so first and foremost his basic attack you guys custom icer um as you can see here very very consistent with other basics from other characters but what does it actually do compared to other ones um he attacks the primary target for 100 damage uh, and additionally if you t4 it he does generate ability energy on those crits which is then granted to adjacent allies so this is really good for a shield team in terms of being able to give energy however i don't know if this is actually worth um worth t4ing just because of the fact that it looks like from that from the level 6 to level 7 t4 it just gives him an additional 30 damage so uh he already generates the energy naturally if you were to level up this ability to level 6 so definitely i don't think this is a t4 that's worth it especially uh, how costly and hard the materials are to generate uh next his special ability rally so if we take a look here essentially he gains defense up and he spreads all the positive effects from himself to all the allies on his team so really good for providing sustainability for the team additionally he also heals his uh himself and his shield minions as well so really good for sustainability and just being that captain of the ship um i don't know about with t4 this either because if you look at the level six to level seven this is a good ability but you know just getting that extra 2000 healing which is consistent with level six here level five uh as you can see here uh i don't recommend t4ing this just because of how costly these materials are so that one's not one i would re i would recommend t4ing if you guys are scarce for materials next uh his ultimate ability here reinforcements what does it do um essentially he summons uh if we were to go ahead and t4 it he would be summoning shield agents at you know a normal percent uh, in terms of damage and health but as you level this ability they get more damage and they get more health additionally they also gain a positive effect for a couple of turns depending on how high you level this ability so as you can see here um very very good you, he actually summons um operative and additionally at the same time uh nick fury always gains a speed up as well but as you can see here if you were to level this from level six to level seven he actually goes from summoning uh it looks like one shield minion to guarantee two to three additionally they also do 40 percent uh shield agent damage so this is definitely one i actually would recommend in terms of being able to t4 it because you can switch from just summoning one shield uh, character to support your team uh additionally to getting two, two to three that can really flood the map with allies that be able to provide benefits especially given how prominent the shield character minions are in terms of being able to provide a lot of positive buffs for the team so definitely his ultimate is definitely one i would 100 percent i would recommend in t4ing last but not least director of shield uh passive uh let's talk about what it actually does here on spawn he grants the speed up to both himself and the shield characters on war defense uh this also impacts colson so obviously having colson on the team is definitely going to help this roster additionally he also gets a 10 percent chance to assist in addition um he also uh, applies offense up only on war defense though and if colson's on the team he also does a apply the assist as well so basically there's a boatload of benefits if this team is uh is placed on your war defense team which is where their placement in the game actually is right now if you were to t4 this from level four to the level five on his turn he would also grant an extra 20 percent um to speed up himself as well as shield minions and an additional 10 percent to assist so 
Honestly, this is a this is one I definitely would recommend in T4 as well because knowing how prominent already the shield minions are in terms of all the buffs, you're telling me that there's also an extra 20% chance to increase that to grab that speed up, and additionally they also get an increased chance percentage of attacking an ally assist. So I mean, this is just really really effective for not only war defense but really good if you're uh, if, especially if you're flooding the map of all your shield minion characters. So. 100% I would recommend T4 in both his ultimate as well as his passive. So that's where I see his uh, Nick Fury's uh, skill set being, um, especially if you were to level him up. Which brings us now to the final uh, point and review of this video. How much is Nick Fury worth investing and how much time and investment should we put into him? So, you know, um, to be honest with you, in the game right now, I always like to analyze characters in terms of, you know, for instance, uh, we have to take a look at campaign. We have to take a look at raids. We have to take a, look, take a look at the arena battles here, right? And we also additionally have to do take a look at, um, you know, where their place is in Alliance Wars as well as Dark Dimension. And to be quite frank with you, in my past video where I made the review on Invisible Woman, I did compliment her and say that she's placed in a multitude of different um, modes right now, especially in the mid to end game. Uh, she's utilized in campaigns for many of my videos that I've made, um, especially if you guys haven't had a chance to take a look already. I did make uh, recent videos on unlocking Hero 7, and let me tell you, most of the Hero 7 was utilizing uh, a mixture of Invisible Woman. But as well, um, also in Doom Part 1 here, you can see that they actually do allow you guys to be able to use shield characters for the last three from um, uh, the first, uh, from 1.7 to 1.8 and 1.9. But I, however, didn't have uh, Nick Fury, but I was able to utilize uh, Coulson for a couple of them. And additionally, like I said, um, that really begs the question now then how often will you need Nick Fury? I you know most players if you have Nick Fury to use for these three nodes It's definitely useful. I want to 100% agree However, I didn't have the chance to get Nick Fury and I was still able to work around Utilizing the versatility of Invisible Woman Additionally, I also utilize Invisible Woman as well in Arena and uh, And as well as uh, raids she was also part of my Dark Dimension 2 roster that helped me unlock it and in my past video, I gave Invisible Woman a solid 8 out of 10. Um, the ideal candidate for the 10 out of 10 is Black Bolt because you would just keep for all his abilities. He used utilized in the in game, all the game modes. Um, absolutely unreal character. Like he's the perfect specimen to be able to utilize as that comparison to where you would rate a character. Which now brings us to our dilemma here in terms of. Um, sorry, I gotta I gotta look for Nick Fury now. Um, in terms of rating Nick Fury overall, Invisible Woman being 8 out of 10. Black Bolt being 10 out of 10. Um, honestly speaking, uh, we have to ask the question, where is he utilized in the game right now? I just walked through the fact that, you know, campaign, you can go about and getting those nodes done without Nick Fury. Because the only other thing too is, right, if you use if you utilize Nick Fury, chances are you might have to utilize a couple of the other shield minions too. And not everyone's going to want to invest time in those minions. Just because of the fact that they don't have them leveled up or there's other, uh, there's other characters that are just much more powerful and more utilized in the game. Uh, maybe you don't want to invest that much gold and gear into them, right? Uh, moreover, is Nick Fury utilized in raids? Uh, I I would say that he can be utilized in raids just because of his abilities here. You know, like I said, he has great synergy with shield characters. Uh, but really, as you can see here from the passive I was talking about, his team really does shine on Alliance War, uh, especially on the defense side where they, his team gets a boatload of benefits. So. That's really where he is right now in the meta, and um, I know a lot of people have, some people have utilized him before in the Dark Dimensions, but are they, a, is Nick Fury a character they would recommend in terms of bringing to Dark Dimension 3, and potentially and ultimately Dark Dimension 4? I would have to strongly disagree, just because of the fact that, you know, um, I've done a lot of research, especially my experiences in, in terms of how I progress my characters. Uh, even the reason right now that I'm unlocking Nick Fury at this point, in, and I played the game for 10 to 11 months now, and I'm unlocking Nick Fury now, and that's not by coincidence, right? It's because I've invested my time and my money into in money in terms of gold, right? Not actual money, but my time and investment into the characters um, for the legendaries I have already unlocked, just because they had more utilization. And so, with that being said, I think Nick Fury, Nick Fury right now, I would give him a solid five or potentially six out of 10 in the game right now, just because of the fact that I don't think there's a lot of use for him and his team, with the exception of Alliance War defense. Hopefully, potentially in the future, they can rework the shield just because of the power creeping. But um, with that being said, when we take a look at campaign, raids, dark dimension, alliance, 
really his team only shines on lines defense war so that's why i don't think um if you guys already have a strong leveled up nick fury absolutely use him if you can but if you guys are the newer players mid-game players watching this right now you do have a chance to kind of gain that insight in terms of there's other characters that you can invest in right so i mean uh legendaries that i've unlocked before nick fury that i'm glad i've been able to utilize would be ultron you know uh i've been leveling up uh, black bolt as you can see here invisible woman shuri um and then um even star lord i would say has more utilization just because of synergy with the guardians of the galaxy plus uh star lord does have a, a really good usage in the campaign especially when you guys are building up the roster to be able to unlock the legendaries right so um last but not least you know what really puts him under for nick fury unfortunately is the fact that his requirement as you guys can see with my my, my unlock you need five tree minions and you know that's a really heavy investment because you have to invest all across the board i believe there's three characters you from the cream minions uh that you have to uh farm conti continually from the campaigns and you also additionally have to go through arena and as well as raid for them so i mean he is uh for a legendary that requires such an extensive uh five uh, minions that aren't potentially used that much especially those kree guys um he doesn't bring a lot of value in my opinion right so um overall i would give him a five six out of ten um and that's where he is right now in the game but hopefully in the future he gets some more love right so that's where i would see right now uh, for now um obviously if i have some extra gold extra extra energy and whatnot to invest in him i i may potentially just build him up just to create a team of its own to auto blitz but otherwise, right now, I'm not going to touch him just yet, just because I do have other characters I want to level up right now. So, with that being said, that does conclude my video. Hope you guys enjoyed that unlock. Uh, me walking through the T4 abilities, what I recommend if you were to build him. Last but not least, his overall rating and whether or not he is worth investing in the game right now. So, please let me know what your guys' uh, thoughts and comments are. I'm always uh, open to hearing what your ideas are and what you guys think. But right now, that's, that's just my opinion. And it's not necessarily right, but that's quite all right. So, as always, you guys, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And I'll see you in the next one.